So what are problems on bearing? There are basic facts that you need to remember. One is that the bearing are measured from the north side. Now, usually, you might be giving a north side, or sometimes you might need to draw it yourself. Now, to measure your angle, you got to measure it from this north pole side. Okay. The next thing you need to also know is that these angles are measured clockwise from the north pole. So, if you got your north side or north pole, and you need to measure, you got to measure along the clockwise direction. Now, this is going to be a positive direction, clockwise direction. And the third fact you need to have your fingertips is that these bearings must be written as three digits. Now, in the next examples that follow, you're going to see how this is clearly done. In this example, we need to measure and write down the bearing of B and C. And uh, this is B here, and you have C here. Now we need to measure the bearing of B from C. The key word here is from the word from C. This is where we have to draw our knot pole from point C. And that's just here. So we start off to draw a knot pole from point C. The next thing we do is to draw a line from point C to connect point B. Now to measure the angles, we got to measure the angle from the north pole here down to this line that connects C to B. Now to do this, what we're going to require a protractor. Now I need to explain something on how to use a protractor. Make sure that the baseline here really goes through the north pole and then the center baseline here should really line up with this point C. So with that information let's go to a real question. So move this here. Make sure you line up line it up uh, make sure you line correctly. So we have it. Now, if you look at the angle very well, you'll find that the angle will be somewhere around 66, somewhere here, 66. So what we need to do is to take away the protractor of the way and then write down the angle. That's going to be 66 degree. But to complete the three digits, you put a zero right behind it. So the bearing of B from C is 0, 066 degree. Here we have to measure and write on the bearing of B from C. Remember the keyword here is from C. So I'm going to put this right in the cloud for emphasis. So we're going to draw a point from point C, which is just here. The next thing I have to do is to connect from point C to B. Now the next thing we need to consider is to do the measuring angle and I'm going to measure from the north pole to this line. So I'm going in the clockwise direction. Now there are two ways to really work this out. One way is if you know this angle in here you're going to subtract it from 360 degrees to get this bearing here because the two angles sum up to 360 degrees. Another way you could really do it is to draw this north pole down, dividing this into two ratios. Then you find the angle here which is going to be 180 and then you find this angle here which is an acute angle and then you add them both that gives you the total bearing. But I want to be very fast and quick, so I'm going to use this one here, measure this angle here, and subtract it from 360 to get this angle. So, to help me out with this, I'll need my protector. I'm going to line them up. Good. Now, what I'm going to do now is to read up my blue uh, scale in a scale, okay? And if I read that carefully, that's going to give me something close to a hundred and uh, a hundred and three. 
Yep, 113. 113, really, not 103, 113. So I'm going to take this out of the way. So I know that the angle here is 113. So to get this bearing out here, I'm going to subtract it from 360. So I have 360 degree. Take away 113. And when I do that, I'm going to have 7, 4, 2. So 247 is my bearing here. So that's the bearing of B from C. 247 degree. Next, we're going to measure and write down the bearing of A from Z. The keyword here is from Z, and this is where I'm going to draw my north side. So here, that's point Z. Good. The next thing I'm going to do is to connect the points from Z to A. And to measure the angle, um, the angle I'm really going to measure is to measure from the north side clockwise direction to the next line, and that's going to be the angle from here down up here. So that's the angle I'm going to measure, and that's the bearing I'm going to looking for. A quick way to find the angle in here and subtract from 360. To do that, I'm going to require my protractor, very handy. Line it up correctly. Okay, try to line up. Good. So this is it. Now I'm gonna read up the the blue in a scale. You can see that? And try to read it up. That's gonna give me something exactly 70 degrees. So I'm gonna take that away, to put it away from the way. So I know this angle here is 70 degrees so I'm going to subtract it from 360 to get the bearing so I have 360 degree take away 70 degree now that's going to be a 0 9 uh, 2 so the bearing here is going to be 290 degree here's a typical exam style question the diagram shows the position of two towers A and B. Tower A, Tower B on the map. The first question is to measure the bearing of B from A. The measure the bearing of B from A. So this is the angle I'm going to look at for to measure. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to need my protector very handy. I'm going to line up my angle very properly. Okay, so if I read up the angle carefully, I mean the outer scale, you're going to find that there's going to be something about um, 67, 65, 67, yep, 67 degree. So I'm going to take this off the way right now and write down 67 degree. Now to complete this in, in three digits, I'm going to put zero in front of here. So the bearing of B from A is 60, 0, 67 degree. The question continues. Another tower, P, is on the bearing of 125 degree from B. And on the map, P is 5 cm from B. But first, let's try to understand the first part of it. It says, another part of tower P is on the bearing of 125 degrees from B. So I'm going to take my compass, my protector again. Very, very, very useful. Um, I'm going to take it up here. Take it to point B. Okay, line up the point. And try to measure 125 degree. Now, if I do that, um, I'm going to read up the outer scale. So 125 degree will be somewhere, I think somewhere here. Yep, somewhere here. Good, I've looked at it. Now just have to remove my protractor or my protractor of the way. So what I'm going to do right now is to connect 
this point just so we sure I have everything ready okay connect this point B to this point and draw it out okay good all right so remember this is the point okay all right now we know this line on this line we're gonna have point P but we know it's gonna be five centimeters from B so what I'm gonna do right now is to take my ruler I'm gonna adjust this a little bit okay and measure five centimeter right on it and I think that's gonna be at this point so it's gonna be at this point because it's five centimeters yep at uh, this point make it bold enough okay so I'm gonna having done that I'm gonna take the ruler of the way all right good now we know this is the point it's gonna be P okay because we know it's on the map is five minutes from B so I'm gonna label here point P and the conclusion part of the question says mark the position P with a cross X and label it P well I've done P but I'm gonna put X right here I'm gonna put X here so this is the point that we need to get here is a very typical exam question. The diagram shows the position of two cars A and B, mm -hmm. shown by the North Poles. The bearing of car C from car A is 40 degrees, 0, 40 degrees. Then I'm going to show that on the map with my protector. Okay, from the baseline, line top. Okay, so I'm going to look at 40 degrees from the outer scale. Okay, from the outer scale, and that's gonna be somewhere here. So I'm gonna take my protector off the way, and I'm gonna draw a line from point A to that point. Okay, I just know points the car C will be somewhere along this point along this line but I don't know exactly where but I can with the help of point C from point B the bearing of point uh, C from point B and I know the bearing of, of car C from B is 300 degrees somewhere around 200 degrees right I know to, an easy way is to to consider that a foot on here is 360 so if I'm able to get 60 measure from this here from anti-clockwise okay I I can get a full bearing of 300 and then I connect my point okay and doing that I'm going to use a different color pen for uh, clarity okay all right so I'm going to take my protector and try to turn it the other way around okay and try measure us uh, uh, try to measure 60 degree okay all right so i got it yep so 60 degrees will be somewhere um somewhere here 60 degrees will be in our one in our scale okay 60 degrees will be somewhere here okay somewhere here all right i've just showed that with the point and then what i'm going to do is to take the protector of the way now what i'm going to do next is to connect these blue point from here good wherever those two line intersect definitely has to be point C and I'm going to locate that point oh, the, let me use a black one a black pen okay um, so this point where the the red line and the blue line intersect that's the position C. I hope you understand how this was done. This was quite difficult, but if you look at it, you'll get a sense of out of it.
Here's a final set of questions. Now, in this question, we don't need a protector. Now, the question says the bearing of an aircraft from a control tower is 0 45 degrees. So, I'm going to draw my north pole, okay, from here, representing the control tower, okay. So, this is going to be my control tower, T. But I know the bearing is 45 degrees, and 45 degrees will be something just somewhere here. So I connect from this point, take it up, okay, and when I do that, that's going to give me um, a position close to the aircraft somewhere here. But first of all, I need to remember that the bearing here definitely is going to be 0, 0.45 degree. Somewhere around here is going to be the aircraft, okay. Alright, so I'm going to draw my node pole here again just to make it a little clearer good now this for the aircraft the point for the aircraft now the question says I should work out the bearing of the control tower from the aircraft okay I just have to change the spelling right good from the aircraft so I'm going to find the bearing from here down here and I'm going to use a different color paint to make it even more clearer. So this is the angle I'm trying to work out the bearing from here. Okay. And to do that, one of the ways you could do is to... Now, there are a couple of ways you could do that. Okay. But I'm going to do something to make it a lot easier. If I... Let me take a, color, a red pen here. If I draw a line down from the north pole of A down here, this way. I really find that from here to here it's going to be 180 degrees, right? Because angle on a straight line. Then, because we know these two lines are parallel, we have a Z shape. So, definitely this angle here, from here to here, is definitely going to be 45 degree. Okay? So, the total bearing be from here, 180 plus 45, that will be the bearing of the control from the aircraft. So, I'm going to add 180 degree plus 0, 0.45 degree. If I add this up, I'm going to have 5 to, to that's 225 degrees. So the total bearing is actually 225 degree. 